Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Epsid. So in this short video, I will, I will uh, say a few words about uh, this uh, mini e-commerce solution that uses Django and Stripey to um, to provide an unusable e-commerce flow. Uh, the design is super nice. It's a Booster of Five design from Creative Team. So uh, the product has been updated to uh, download the products from uh, from Stripey dashboard. Uh, and uh, the persistent uh, for the persistent the starter uses the JSON files for each uh, for each product. So uh, you don't need theoretically you don't need a database. But uh, this feature that um, uh, downloads the, um, the products on Stripey uh, requires you to be a super user in order to to use this feature. Uh, let's. Um, uh, fork this uh, open source project and uh, check out the, the feature. So uh, I will click uh, this button which will uh, generate a new project uh, from this uh, open source project. Let's say uh, can use whatever name we want. So um, once the, um, the project is forked uh, I will uh, check out the sources in my local system. And open up with uh, VS Code. Once you have the, the sources uh, downloaded on your, uh, on your file system, uh, you need to follow up the usual, uh, the usual steps and uh, create a virtual environment install the uh, install the modules migrate the database just just to to have the authentication tables uh, provided by django so there is no other uh, database or uh, extra tables so uh, I will migrate the database create a super user Okay, and now I will start the server. So uh, please note that that uh, at this moment uh, I didn't provide any Stripey secrets. I didn't uh, configure here any environment file. So um, let's access the the application and uh, uh, check out the interface. So by default, uh, a product is is provided. We can uh, we can see here the definition in the Produce directory, so it's called feature.json. Basically, we have here all the information. As I said before, the, um, this super simple version uses only JSON files for each product, so um, there is no persistence in the database. In the database, uh, SQLite in this case, uh, only the authentication information for the super users or the ordinary users are, are safe, so it's not related to the, to the um, uh, products persistence. Okay, if we try to access the the product and uh, initiate the purchase, you'll you'll be informed that Stripe secrets are not provided, so uh, you need to update the configuration. Also, on the home page, we can see that uh, the application informs us that uh, no products are defined except this default product. So, uh, in order to pull the information for Stripe, we need to uh, authenticate that as uh, super users and uh, um, uh, import the information. I will stop the the starter and uh, use an environment file from uh, from another project that uh, comes with uh, uh, Stripey secrets. So basically, you need to to have the publisher key and the secret key pro both provided by Stripey. Uh, the rest of the, of the information is uh, is um, optional, like secret key. Uh, the application uses a default one. 
the debug, uh, debug flag, uh, flag uh, is also set to true by default and uh, this uh, domain URL is uh, required by the callback uh, mechanism from, or for uh, Stripe uh, checkout. Okay, so now we have the secret here. Uh, let's uh, start application and um, uh, check out the flow. So I will uh, go back to the, to the interface refresh the page so uh, as the uh, application suggests uh, I will uh, authenticate as super user okay the authentication was okay now the uh, application uh, tells us to access the, the private pages to import the products from Stripey also in this menu a new item uh, is uh, available for super users okay i will click once you're in you have here the stripe product list on the left and here the local product list uh, and uh, in order to pull the the products i will click on this button so uh, uh, i have uh, three products defined in my stripe dashboard Let's uh, also access the, the Stripey account just to check out the accuracy of the of the information. Uh, the products are defined in test mode. So if we go here to the to the products tab, we can see that the same information: Django, Black Pro, Material Pro, and uh, Data Able Pro are the same from uh, pulled in, in this uh, in this tab. So let's create a new product. We can see here this is the JSON pulled from Stripey. I will click, I will uh, click create, and right now the product is is automatically uh, saved on the disk. If we go here to the all products page, we can see that the uh, Jungle Black Pro it's it's available. Uh, let's do the same thing uh, with uh, the rest of the products because I want to use all the information and the uh, data table is missing okay so now I have three, three products imported from Stripey I didn't edit anything it was just clicks and uh, if we go here to the result of the project we can see that uh, all products are um, are available for 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 processing let's go to the to the first one and uh, try to initiate the purchase the price is is the same as uh, defined here in Stripey so uh, let's uh, use some uh, dumb information and uh, go with the purchase just to um, validate the flow um okay one two three rambo let's say rambo okay so the payment was was cool we can see the transaction here in the in the payments so succeeded there's me it was the user that i just uh, i just use customer rambo of course um, let's go back to the to the products tab and uh, cancel the the payment let's uh, imagine that the user go to the to this pane and uh, somehow he canceled the, the payment payment was canceled if we go here to to payments we can uh, see that the payment was uh, was incomplete so guys thanks for watching uh, this uh, this project is uh, is open source feel free to use it the UI is super nice um, soon the product will be updated to to have a, a better UI here we are uh, editing all the time JSON files so it will be a, a nice form and also the um, the images uh, which uh, right now are uh, are saved here a pull from stripey and uh, saved here uh, you can see here the image URL 
uh, the product will be updated to support uh, to upload your own uh, your own images and uh, to beautify this uh, minimal interface. What can I say? Thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. In case anyone have issues with the product, um, feel free to access Mapsid and uh, go here to the support page. Um, chat with us. We are replying to all the emails and also we have a super nice uh, Discord community with more than 1000 uh, developers. Let us know what you think and uh, what uh, other models we can add to this super simple uh, mini e-commerce powered by Django and Stripe. Thanks again for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid and uh, as always I wish you all a super super day.